morning, everybody. Rick and Deb here. We are at the first American Museum in, in uh, Oklahoma City. More specifically, I think it's not too far from Dell City. We've never been here before, so it's going to be really interesting. I normally wear a hat. It's really, really windy out today, so I thought, well, maybe I'll not wear the hat today. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day. It was raining earlier. The rain has quit. The sun's out a little bit, kind of partly cloudy. But it is very, it's just a little, little windy out today. It is Wednesday, January the 18th, 2023. So if you're not doing anything on this Wednesday morning, come on along and let's explore this first American museum. So, come on along. Okay, I guess it's a pretty large museum. It's got several different areas. Um, we're doing this on our own. Just we're just gonna walk through and see what we got. I did take some pictures of the entrance when we first got here. My wife's going to be my picture taker today. So, let's see if we can get started. This is kind of cool because, like I said, this is a, a first for us here today. So, uh, we're going to get started here in just a few minutes. Like I said, the wife's going to be taking pictures, and I'm going to be doing the video this morning. Oh, they got weddings here, too? Wow, that's cool. What? Oh, that's different. Family Discovery Center. Okay. I guess there's one section that does not allow videos. I think it's an art section. Uh, we may or may not. We probably won't go in that area. Okay, first floor, community gallery, coat check, cafe, family discovery center, fam store, theater, festival plaza, first aid, hall of the people. My goodness, it's quite a place. We don't uh, normally get down to this neck of the woods, but it's all right. They're building something just right in front of this museum. Have no idea what that's going to be, of course. So, we're going to get started here, here shortly. All right, we're going to venture forth and explore this museum. Now, this area over here, they do not allow video. Voices from the drum. They allow pictures, so. I don't know. Do they, do they take pictures? Okay, I guess we're going to bypass this one section. There's a gentleman up here we can ask. Um, Okay, well, we went and looked at the drums. There's no photography or no video allowed. But look at this out here. This is some kind of a... You can walk around this, this big mound. Well, I'll be... I don't think we'll do it today because it's too... A little bit chilly, kind of windy. We'll have to come back here when it's not so better weather check this out you can walk you can walk around you want to walk around that no. not today no but i think there's doors where you get outside right over there i think i think there's a little that that almost looks like a tunnel or something that you can walk through huh i didn't either 
Oh, I definitely want to go go do that. Not, probably not today. Wow. We'll have to come back when it's warmer weather and not so windy. It'll be prettier anyway that later on this summer. We're definitely going to come back though. So this about all I can give you right here on this mound. But we're going to come back. Uh, this come, and then this area, this must be for like um, dinners or meetings. They got tables. It's a huge area though. Look at this. Oh, you know what? I think, no, this isn't either. I thought this may have been the, when you first walk up, but no, this is kind of behind that. Well, I'll be, they got a place you can sit and just enjoy looking at the mount if you want to. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Festival Plaza and Fam Mound Path. The museum was designed to align with the cardinal directions as indigenous peoples have done for thousands of years. Witness the winter solstice and summer solstice and the fall equinox and autumnal, autumnal equinox from the Festival Plaza. The winter solstice tunnel, the sun sets in the center of the mound tunnel during winter solstice. The summer solstice peak, the sun sets at the peak of the FAM family, first American museum, sorry, during the sol summer solstice. So that's what these, uh, that's what there's over there. You probably barely can see it. But yeah, we're definitely going to come back and take that walk. It's quite a walk. And it might be a little blustery today. Probably wouldn't take that long to walk around it, though. Yeah, that's really cool. This must be the Festival Plaza area. Second annual Potato Dance World Championship, Saturday the 11th. Well, I'll be, isn't that neat? It just switched on me. I don't know if it's going to come back again or not. Every third, okay. Huh, okay. Well, that's, that's neat. Okay, well, let's go on. If we can remember which way we... Okay, I think we go on. We go on this way. I think we're mixed up where we go now. Mezzanine Gallery. Mm -hmm. Tribal Nations Gallery. Yeah. Yeah, let's try this. That mount is really cool to see. This has always been Indian country. Okay. Yeah. Now they've got a, a mezzanine gallery. We may go up there. They got an elevator. They'll take you up there. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, it's really pretty. I don't know if that's going to come out on video or not. Okay. Hmm. They said there's a lot to see. What's this? 
Sweetheart Grass Replica. Cedar Replica. Tobacco Replica. And Sage Replica. Let us continue to share this expansive place of dreams and promises where we live and walk together on good red earth. Let's remember to live as good relatives. You are earth, so am I. Okay. Ashes from the ground blessing. Okay. These galleries are pretty good size. Wow. Hmm. Oklahoma Tribal Nations Gallery. All right. Well, we'll get started here in just a minute. And I guess that's the exit. Or at least that's what it says, exit. Hey, uh, hey. Interest is this way. It's kind of dark in here. I don't know if this is going to show up very good. In the video, I hope it does. Etched conch shell seed pot. There's a conch shell, and there is the seed pot. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at this. This must be the theater. Sorry about this, it's really dark. We got these places to sit, it looks like rocks. I know you can't see that. Origin stories give meaning and 
structure to our lives. These stories are always with us. They instruct us on our place within the natural world and how it is valued and cherished on earth. Some emerge from the earth. That looks like a cave. A long time ago, as we traveled through darkness inside the earth, when people and animals spoke the same language, Nish, the moon, came to our people with gifts. To the women, Gaha Nakti, Nish gave seeds of cassim, corn, and kakikasti, pumpkin. To the men, Gaha Shui, came the Tehiko, pipe. Nish foretold of our people's journey through a deep darkness, but promised these gifts would sustain us until we were led by Tasha into the life of Sun, the sun. Nish sent Tasha, the wolf, to help guide us, and gave our Pradi, our chiefs, the drum and song so our people would follow.
presented with the natural world before time began. We look to our stories to understand our relationships to all beings and how to live. Some of us floated down from the stars. Noah, in the beginning, there was only Thidamor, the great spirit. The ground was shrouded in darkness, for nothing was prevailed. Over time, he made the world as we know today. The green light, Thidamor, the firmament. That was interesting. Hope that turned out okay. Copper sight bison skull. All righty then. This is Hopewell Hand Replica. There is all kinds of stuff to see in here. I don't know, this is huge. We may not see it all, but we'll try to get the try to get the highlights maybe. That's a feast bowl, wood turned vase. Cheyenne, and I can't pronounce that, Farflesh, Bandelier bag, date unknown. This is really pretty. Chicksaw pot. Okay. Oh gosh, you could spend hours and hours in here. These look like, oh, here we go. War Club, that big one in the back. War Club. W.H. Horseman and Sons, U.S., that's that sword. The gun, 1880s. And then the Tomahawk War Axe is right there. And then the Shot Powder Measure. Okay. Boy. Trade beads, beaver pelt. Okay. King George the second silver peace medal. Andrew Jackson medal, peace medal, eighteen twenty nine. George George at Sam Stitt. Choctaw. Okay. There must be some kind of a robe. Not a robe, um, something to place around the neck, maybe. I'm not real sure. What's in here? Corn Mother and Buffalo Songs. And then this looks like a fire pit. Goodness. Wow. <laughs> yes.
But number one is an abalone shell. Number two is quartz. Number three is copper back there. Number four is turquoise. Five is pearl. Six is wampum. Eight is obsidian. Seven is galena. Nine is ketonite pipestone. Eleven is cowrie shell. And the one big rock back there, that's raw pigments. So that's what all that is. Child's shoes from the 1880s. This is a Sophie Pitch Lens Choctaw Bible. Some of these names are hard to pronounce. <laughs> Here is uh, Painted Vans 2020 shoes of some sort, sneakers. A beaded gavel and a beaded stethoscope. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Well, these are really pretty. Look at this. This is a um, man's fancy dance regalia. That's what this is. Dance regalia. Hmm. I think we got one over here. This is the back side of the men's dance regalia. Wow. And here is a, this is a women's fancy shawl regalia. Really pretty, really very pretty, very colorful. Wow, that's cool. Native American Church, here's the Harding Big Bow. Native American Church box set. Scarf pin. Necklace. Number five is necklace. Necklace over there. Um, Eight, pin, date, unknown. The side scarf is six. Okay. Number four is scarf pin, date, unknown. And number three is beaded scarf pin, date, unknown. Wow. Indian Craft Museum. Boy, 
this is a It's like a waterfall. Oh, that scared me. Tonka Princess, reserved for tribal princess and family. Boy, this is a floor is a map. No water. Recognize that. We've been there. Vanita. Uh, Will Rogers Turnpike. Miami. Up here. Oh, yeah. Ogmogee, we've been there. Eufaula, we've been there. Been a lot of these areas around. Paul's Valley, we've been there. Just a big map of Oklahoma. Lawton, we've been there. We went there a few years ago. They got a really nice uh, museum down there. Myths and stereotypes. Wacky wigwams. Oh wow, well, look at all this. F.R. Rice and Company Chief Cigars, St. Louis, Missouri. Hmm. Well, look at all this. 1949 Redskin looked like a high school book or something. Toys, clothing, statues, plates, baking powder. I guess this is what they. Americas and in motorcycles. I remember those. The Dreamcatcher, recognize that. A lot of old old toys and boy, all kinds of stuff. Lunch boxes and more toys. Wow. Hmm. Cookie jars, pop. Huh. Boy. All kinds of stuff. Oh my goodness.
Oklahoma Powell Highway. Hmm. Got this van. Well, we look through the window as you can see a demonstration. It's almost got a 3D effect to it. Looks like glassware, pictures, Barbie, G.I. Joe. Really? Moccasins, looks like a cane, cowboy hat. Really nice chairs or sofas. Look really comfortable. Really nice looking rug, too. Hmm. Take me dancing when you go, and take me laughing, too. Looks like some performers. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're doing here. Possibly a game of some sort. I'm really not sure. Oh, they got paintings, photographs. Seneca Cayuga Peach Seed Game Set. Okay. Looks like sport activities. Baseball player. Football. All kinds of sport activities. Hand game, it says. Stand on the marked spot to start the game. Choose your team's name to start, point to a corner, and hold to choose. Oh, okay. Respect through sports, it says. <clears throat> Football team from 1905. It's Oklahoma Military Academy Indian Boys Football Team, 1920. Here's a group portrait of all first American baseball team, 1900 to 1910. Wow. This is members of the Carlisle Indian School football team, circa 1912. Wow. Johnny Bench, Choctaw, Wheaties. 
Breakfast's champion, Circle Box, Cereal Box, rather, 1990. Football with Oklahoma on it. Hmm. All kinds of sporting activities. This is a Chunky Player Effigy Pipe. Muskogee County. We've been to Muskogee. That's another game that you can play. All that. They got boxing. It says a warrior is what a warrior has always been, one who protects the people, who stands with dignity and courage in the face of danger. Gerald, can't pronounce that, Alfred Mohawk, indigenous governance scholar at Activist 2005. Okay. It says women as warriors. Well, here's a Symbols of the warrior leadership and service. And this is a war bonnet attributed to Geronimo circa 1900 to 1909. All right, wow. Here's some World War I, a group of soldiers from the 2nd Battalion, 358th Infantry, 90th Division, 1919. World War I uniform. Origins of Warriors. There's a some bison up there. Women as Warriors. Okay. First American women have always stood to protect and defend our communities. Native women warriors are known to have fought in battle at least as far back as the American Revolution. Nearly 800 Native American women served in World War II. Today, far more Native women serve in the U.S. military than any other ethnic group. Our Native women fight for our people through advocacy and activism, often as leaders. Today, they are defenders and protectors of our natural resources, our cultures, and our people. Okay, well. well. The Korean War. Vietnam War. Okay. Service of Warriors. Well, it looks like we have some medals. Code Talker, commemorative medals issued by U.S. Mint, authorized by public law 110-420-2008. Those are really pretty. Look at that. Those are really nice. Our warriors fought on both sides of the Revolutionary War. The War of 1812 and the Civil War. Natives fought alongside their allies, both tribal and European. Some tribes fought for the United States during the Mexican-American War. Many of our tribes fought for the United States in multiple wars, even though we were not yet citizens. U.S. citizenship came in waves to tribal nations. Some of our people received citizenship with their land allotments in 1898. A law in 1919 gave <clears throat> citizenship to all honorably discharged Native men who served in World War I.
Wow. Living as warriors. And there's a duty and a responsibility that is not called environmentalism, that is hmm. not called activism. Warriors among us. It's called the in times of war and peace, warriors are among us. They include veterans who have served in the U.S. military, but not all warriors are veterans. Our modern-day warriors advocate for justice, provide for our health and well-being, and protect and advance our knowledge. There are lawyers, doctors, judges, teachers, scientists, and advocates. Warriors are also culture bearers who carry our knowledge, protect our language, and advance our art and cultures. We honor those who serve to protect and perpetuate our cultural lifeways. They carry forward the spirit of the warrior tradition that dates back thousands of years. Oh. Gray Horse War Mothers, Chapter 15, American War Mothers. Warriors to Soldiers. Warriors to soldiers. Historically, warriors fought to defend our communities, our homelands, and warrior tradition continues to produce modern native soldiers. This commitment continues into the 21st century through service in the U.S. military. One in 100 U.S. citizens serve in the armed forces. One in nine first Americans serve in the armed forces. We serve our country despite the irony that the U.S. military fought more than 1,000 battles and wars against tribal nations and seized our homelands. To many people, this may seem a contradiction, but this land is still our home and will always be our home. That's a very, very, very true statement. To our fallen soldiers, POWs, and MIAs, we honor and recognize all those service members who have made the ultimate sacrifice to those fallen service members and their Gold Star families, we offer our deepest gratitude. We will never be able to pay you for your sacrifices, but we will forever pay your tribute. We also honor and recognize those who are or were prisoners of war or missing in action, while an official accounting for many missing soldiers was conducted during the Vietnam War, remain of some soldiers have yet to be returned. We want them to know you are not forgotten. That's very, very true. And we must always remember, that's why they're called First Americans, because they were truly 100% the first true Americans. And they played in sports, and they were astronauts, like this gentleman here. They fought for their country, honorably. Nice. They've served in all aspects. Society of Warriors, the prophecy of sweet medicine. Many tribes recognize the role of prophecy as an important form of instruction teaching. The Cheyenne leader, or sweet medicine, received prophecies about the future of his people. He saw that the Cheyenne would encounter many different human races across generations. These encroachments would challenge their way of life. Part of sweet medicine's teachings was that there should be societies with separate responsibilities. One of these is Council of 44, the Peace Chiefs. Their responsibility to the tribe is to stand up for peace at the cost of their own lives. The Cheyenne people continue to carry sweet medicine teaching into the 21st century. Um, 
I would highly recommend visiting this museum, this First Americans Museum here in Oklahoma City. Okay, this is kind of where we started. I was going to show you something, but I could not do it. There's a group of uh, kids in here. Look at that chair. That, isn't that cool? Look at that. Let's see what's over here. Pawnee Nation of Oklahoma. One place, many nations. Oh, which is where you can select an icon, and they'll tell about that particular like Pawnee Nation, uh, Comanche Nation, just that sort of thing. I love these seats though, aren't those nice? Look at that. That's really nice. I think we're going to go upstairs for just a minute, look around. Okay, elevator right there. Okay, we're here now upstairs. Let's see what we got up here. Life of an object on loan from the Smithsonian. Many of the objects in this exhibition exhibition are on loan from the Smithsonian National Museum of the American Indian. They were collected from our tribal peoples in Oklahoma more than a century ago. Okay, well let's make our way. That's where we just came from down there. So let's venture forth. Guess what we got? It's kind of dark up here, so I don't know how well this is going to come out. That's a child's coat. This is a bark sap basket. It's a stick ball game. Man's hair ornament right there. And tiger, tiger tails. This is a woven mat. Really pretty. Man's leggings right there. This is a beaded necklace. Moccasins, baseball cap, the artwork, or not artwork, but the, uh, the way they made these are really very, very pretty, very beautiful. Stick ball breech, breech cloth. Heedle loom. Wow. Huh. More leggings. Women's skirt. A woven bag. They're really, really very nice. It's a women's blouse. And um, hair ornament. Boy. It's a purse, sewing bag. That is a hide scraper. Boy, there's just all kinds of stuff up here. Wichita and affiliated tribes, a quirt, a quirt, a quirt. Okay. Muskogee Creek sash. We've been to Muskogee several times. If you ever get a chance to go to Muskogee, they have a submarine that you can go 
two are through. We've done that a couple of times. And they also have a Living History Day. And they have it. All of the people dressed in their uniforms as they would at one time when it was active. From collecting to decolonization. Hmm. It just says if we sell our old things, we shall no longer be Indians. Okay. Hmm. I didn't even see this when we were down downstairs. It looks a lot different. There's a huge mural mural. I don't think we've been in here yet, or maybe we have. No, I don't think so. A shinny stick. Okay, and a a ball. Stick ball sticks. Hmm. A ice slider and a plum seed game. This is a fire starting steel. Um, wait a minute. Okay. A man a man's buckskin coat. That's really cool. I like that. The jar from Muskogee Creek. And a corn storage bag. All right. Boy, these rooms just go on and on and on. I think we have already been over there, though. I'm trying to remember where we've been. The man's coat. Moccasins. Hmm. A bandolier bag. What? Okay. Here's a Harrington's desk. Mark R. Harrington's desk would have looked like this during his years, collecting years. Okay. Fort Seal Army Base Lot in Oklahoma. Fountain View, Oklahoma. Ponca City, Bartlesville, these are all we've been we've been to most of these places. Um, Miami, Miami, rather, Stroud, Shawnee. Well, the one I don't recognize is Mountain View. I don't think we've been there. Here is a 
women's dress. This is where uh, it says collecting human remains. Okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> a Cadu rattle. What's this over here? A women's basket cap. Buffalo Bills, Wild West, combined with Pawnee Bills, Great Far East. One oh one Ranch, Wild West Show. Boy. Hmm. Just kind of walk through here a little bit. That says can do rattle. Cherokee corn recipes, and this is a hulling basket. This looks like a recipe book. Why is the dress hidden? I don't know, that's a good question. This Arapaho ghost dance dress is hidden from direct view. It is considered a highly sensitive religious item by the tribes that practice the ghost dance ceremony. Okay. The Arapaho ha tribe has given our museum permission to display the dress. However, some people are uncomfortable viewing it directly. Out of respect for the sensitivity, we display it this way so the dress cannot be inadvertently seen. The dress is viewable for those who choose to see it. Okay. I know it may not come out real good. But that's it. Wow. Oh, I had another gallery. Wow, this thing just goes on and on and on. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, this looks interesting. This is a bullhorn. And down here we have turtle shell leg rattles. And look, they are actually turtle shells. They really are. Um, that's a hymnal. And here's a crock drum. And here's another drum and a fan, a rattle, um, a horn rattle, a water drum, ground rattle. Boy, let me just kind of step back. I know it's really dark. Uh, I just kind of give you a better look at this stuff. All this wonderful, very, very, very nice crafted items.
That's a doll. There's a basket with cover and bow and arrows right there. A woven bag and arrows. That's what you carry them in. Boy. Moccasins. A man's headdress right there. A women's buckskin dress. This looks like jewelry. Strap. Man's turban. Well, that's interesting. Uh, a war club. A boy's leggings. A dance bustle. Those are men's leggings. Women's blanket. A belt bag. And moccasins. A garters. Um, Sasha has worn over a long coat with a finger woven yarn drops tied at the side of the body. Okay. That's what that is. And then these are girls' leggings. A shawl. Buckskin leggings. And a fur hat. Okay. We'll just kind of just walk around through here. I know it's really dark. Oh, wow. Here's a plain style drum right here. And then these are stop dance cans made with, made by community member Paul Cat ceremonial grounds. These cans are available for a, a woman shell shaker to wear when the dances are at the museum. Okay, well, that's what those are. Wow, this is just incredible. The, the craftsmanship that went into these is just incredible. Very beautiful, very well constructed, very nice. That took a lot of skill to make the various clothing and uh, like drums and that sort of thing, headdresses, and that took a lot of skill. We'll just kind of walk around. I don't know, but I think we're uh, getting done, maybe. I'm not sure if there's more. I know they've got restaurants and, oh, I don't know, all kinds of stuff here. I like that jacket. That's really cool. Yeah. We'll just kind of walk around here a little bit and well, maybe one more glance before we go. There again, there we were downstairs.
just walking around through the galleries, just there's those uh, turtle shell leg rattles. I don't know where I've shown this, but I'm just kind of going back through. Just going back through again, just kind of walking around here a little bit. They do guided tours here, if you so wish. Or, and of course, you can do self-guided tours. <clears throat> I prefer the self-guided. That way you can take your time and look at everything. But they do offer the guided tours, if you so desire. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tour of the first American museum here in Oklahoma City. We're actually probably closer to Dell City than Oklahoma City. Hope you enjoyed this. This is our very first visit. We are going to come back. We're going to walk through that mound area. You can walk on top of the mound and everything. We just didn't do it today. We are going to come back probably in the spring. I highly recommend coming here. It's a very nice very nice museum. I thank you all for joining us today. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day today. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. So, goodbye for now.